Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Yes. Thank you. Welcome, welcome everybody. Happy Monday. <laughs> so let's get seated in an upright position, get comfortable on our mat, maybe rock back and forth to feel your sits bones buried in your mat. And if you don't have a thick yoga mat, feel free to double up, triple up, quadruple up, quadruple up. I have four mats here. Be kind to your knees. <laughs> If you only have one mat, and when, when we get to um, the when we get to our knees, you can always roll your mat over and put your knees on the um, poofy part. Okay, so sit up nice and tall. Picture an elongated spine. Pretend as though somebody has a string attached to the top of your head and is pulling you up to the ceiling, nice and tall. This posture is a bit contradictory because I want you to sit up nice and tall, but I want you to relax your shoulders down and away from your ears and smile. So let's work on the shoulders. Big, deep inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, round the shoulders down and back away from the ears. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, release down and away from the ears. One more time, yogis. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, relax and release the shoulders down and away from the ears. Now maybe just turn the head gently from side to side. Loosening up the neck. Maybe tipping your chin to your chest. And lifting your face up to the ceiling, back and forth, your own pace. I recommend slow as we wake up the body for today's practice. Breathe. And now maybe sway the head in a circle. Just checking in with how that neck feel. Breathe. And maybe reverse the direction. Hmm. Okay, yogis. Come into Chin Mudra, bring your index finger to meet your thumb, place on your knees, palms up. I invite you to close your eyes. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, just look straight out at something that's not moving. Don't look at me. <laughs> Let's do some conscious breathing, some Ujjayi breaths. So suck in a big deep inhale through your nostrils. So continue to suck that breath in through the back of the throat and send it to the diaphragm, belly expands. Hold that breath. Long, slow exhale up and out through the nostrils. Draw the navel in. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Big deep inhale, belly expands. Hold. 
slow exhale draw the navel in two more yogis big deep inhale belly expand hold slow exhale draw the navel in inhale belly expands hold slow exhale draw the navel in nice job yogis now start to rub your fingertips together paying attention to your fingerprints rubbing your fingers over your own nails recognizing the difference in texture of your skin and your fingernails Flipping your hands over, massaging your knees, paying attention to the feeling of the fabric or maybe even your own skin, sending your hands down your shins, down to your feet, maybe over your fingernails, recognizing the difference in that texture there, toenail. Running your hands back up your legs, up your thighs, up your side, coming up to your neck and your jaw giving yourself a jaw massage any direction that feels right to you you could push up you could pull down maybe recognizing that bone structure that you're feeling of your skull on the inside of your jaw your cheekbones coming up to your ears switching to your earlobes pulling on those ears down and out up and out paying attention to the difference in texture there the cartilage in your ears breathe pull down and out pull really hard you can't pull your ears off okay you're massaging every internal organ here bringing your peace fingers to your temples Maybe making a circular motion with whatever pressure is right for you. Now reverse the direction. You massage your temples, running your fingers up to your hair, your scalp, giving yourself a scalp massage, whether that be pressing your fingers into your scalp or rounding, making circular motions with your fingers with whatever pressure is right for you. Paying attention to what you're feeling on your fingertips, the texture of your own hair, your skull, your scalp, maybe running the fingers down to the nape of the neck, the back of the neck, massaging that tip of your spine where it connects to your head, your neck, massaging, hands come into prayer and breathe. Let's rub the hands together, create some energy, some chi, make them hot. Inhale together, place those warm hands over the closed eyes. And on the exhale, start to drag your hands down your face, spreading your fingers wide, opening your eyes, reintroducing the light into your body. Welcome. <laughs> Grab onto your knees, yogis. Big elliptical movement here, round. These are seated dancing lions. Sending the out breath to any area you might feel some tension. Reverse the direction. Yogis, any tension, breathe through that puppy. Any sharp pain, stop that movement. That's your body telling you no. Come into an upright seated position. Big scoop, both arms up, energy through the fingers. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, right hand, left knee, left hand behind the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and turn to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and turn further to the left. Push on your knee as resistance to help you to turn. One more time, yogis. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to look all the way behind you and slowly come back to center. Big scoop, both arms up, exhale, paint the walls in front of you, forward fold, bring that forehead to the floor, gently rock from side to side, opening your third eye, inhale, look out, walk the fingertips an inch further, exhale, melt into the floor, set your intention for today's practice, 
anything you'd like to invite more of into your life. Speak it into existence and have it manifest itself. Breathe. Walk your fingertips back. You're in an upright seated position. Big scoop, both arms up, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Left hand, right knee, right hand behind the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn to the right. Shh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn and twist further to the right. Shh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to look all the way behind you. Slowly come back to center. One more time. Big scoop up. Exhale. Paint the walls in front. Forward fold. Coming back to that intention. Is it health? Is it flexibility? Is it strength? Whatever it is. Happiness. Peace and peace. Whatever it is. Ask for it. Inhale. Look out. Walk the fingertips further. Exhale. Fold. Mouth into the floor. Slowly walk the fingertips back. We're in upright to seated position. Let's inhale both arms out like you're an airplane. Scoop the right arm under the left. Try to reach the palms together. Breathe. Sending the breath into the shoulders. Let's inhale together. Exhale, forward fold. Bring those hands to the floor. Bring your forehead to your hand. Breathe. Hmm. What are you grateful for? Attitude of gratitude brings us more things we will be grateful for. Complaining brings us more things to complain about. So. Let's work on having an attitude of gratitude. Breathe, lift the head, lift the hands. Upright and seated position. Gently release the arms. Inhale out like an airplane. Scoop the left hand under the right. Interlace fingers if possible. Squeeze the shoulders together. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bow. Bring your hands to the floor. Bring your forehead to your hands. What else are you grateful for? The ability to practice yoga. For the opportunity to feed your mind, your body, and your soul. Breathe, sending the breath to any area you're feeling any kind of tension. Let's inhale, pick up the head, pick up the arms, and release. Nice job, yogi. Roll over these knees, come into a neutral tabletop. Positioning your fingers as wide as you can. Make sure your hand is directly under your shoulder, your knee directly under your hip. Your knees are hip distance apart. Cat cows, yogis. Inhale, tuck your toes, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round, chin to chest, untuck your toes, push away at the floor, hunch, pull the tummy in. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Three more at your own pace. When you're ready, meet in tabletop. Dancing line, sit back on the heels, scoop it all the way around. Come all the way forward and continue to go around in a circle, maybe closing your eyes, breathing. Reverse the direction. Loosening up the body for today's flow. Breathe. Coming back to a neutral tabletop, reposition the hands directly under the shoulders. Tuck your toes. Inhale together. Pull the belly in. Hover the knees off the mat. Breathe. 
Hold the posture, not the breath. Breathe. Any shaking or sweating here, that's what we want. We're building strength. Breathe. Straighten out those knees, come into downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide. Press your chest towards your thighs. Toes are slightly tucked in. Heels are slightly tucked out. Find stillness or walk your dog by pedaling out your feet. Breathe. High on the tippy toes, bend your knees, look out throughout uh, forward, step, step your hands towards your feet. Inhale, flat back, hands come to the shin. Vocal, exhale, lion breath. <sighs> Inhale, flat back, let go. <sighs> Inhale, flat back, let go. <sighs> Ragdoll up, one vertebrae at a time, saving your neck and head for last. Breathe. Big wide step to the right. Breathe. Feet are parallel. Inhale, both arms out like an airplane. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Try to bring the palms together. Open up the shoulders. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the arms up overhead. Try to bring the top of the head towards the mat. Breathe. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathe. Release the hands. Place the right hand on the floor in front of you. Spread the fingers wide. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Gaze is at your left thumb. Breathe. And release the left hand to the mat. Spread the fingers wide. Reach the right arm up. Gaze is at your right thumb. Breathe. Release the right hand to the mat. Walk your hands as far away from you as you can for a wide-legged forward fold. Press your chest towards the mat. Bring the top of your head towards the floor. If you have an inversion in your practice, go ahead and take it now. Any inversion will do, as well as this posture that you're in is an inversion. So feel free to stay there and breathe. Breathe. Wherever you are, release with control. Walk your hands away from you in between your legs, fingers pointed away from you. Pull the top of your head towards the mat. Breathe. Walk the hands back to center. Turn for a left side runner's lunge. Hoist your right leg to the ceiling for standing split. Use your right hand as a tent and use your left hand to reach for your left ankle. Pull your head towards the floor. Release the right foot with control to meet the left. Breathe. Ragdoll up. One inch at a time. Tadasana, mountain pose. Big wide step to the left. Feet are parallel. Breathe. Inhale the hands out like an airplane. Exhale, interlace, fingers behind the back. Try to bring the palms together. Open up the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, fold forward. Draw the top of the head towards the mat. Arms come up overhead. Breathe. Slowly release the arms. Use your right hand to grab your left ankle. Release the left arm to the sky. Breathe. And let's reverse or exchange. Use your left hand to grab your right ankle and release the right hand to the sky. Breathe. 
Release both hands, walk as far away from you as possible for a wide-legged forward fold. Press your chest towards the mat. Breathe. Yogi's choice to stay here or take any inversion that you practice. Breathe. Wherever you are is perfect. Find your drishti, look at something that's not moving, and breathe. Wherever you are, release with control. Walk your fingertips away from you, pulling the top of your head towards the floor. Breathe. Slowly come back to center, turn to the right or right side runner's lunge. Lift your left leg to the sky for standing split. Use your left hand as a tripod of sorts. Use your right hand to grab your right ankle and pull the top of your head towards the mat. Pull. Now release that left foot with control. Ragdoll up. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Try to find stillness here. Settle the heart, settle the mind, settle the breath. Good job. Let's inhale, arch back, exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Now step or jump into high plank. Pull the tummy in, chaturanga, lower down, scoop up. We're dog, downward facing dog. We're here for five breaths, yogis. You're doing great. Breathe. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, bring it all the way through for a right side runner's lunge. Tuck your left toes, lower your left knee to the mat, untuck your left toes, and sit all the way back on your left heel. Sit up tall, flexing in the right foot. Inhale, scoop both arms up. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Breathe. If you suffer from high blood pressure, continue to look out. If not, tuck your chin into your chest, massaging your thyroid bringing your forehead to your right shin. Breathe. Let's inhale, look out flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Slowly come upright to seated. So we're gonna work on our splits today, okay? So what you're gonna do if you have blocks, that's, that's helpful. So this right leg, you're going to keep it extended and we're going to attempt to straighten out our left leg. So you're going to lift up off the heel, okay? Continue to push your right heel forward, tuck your left toes, and straighten out that left leg. Breathe. You can hold on to a block. Breathe. Sending the breath to the back of the thighs here. Breathe. You're doing great. Nice job. Let's pull that right foot back, tuck the left toes, bend that left knee, and sit back on your left heel. Nice job. Okay, hands come to frame the right foot, tuck your left toes, swing your right leg up. You're in a three-legged downward dog. With control, lower the right foot to meet the left. You're doing great. We're here for five breaths. Find stillness or walk your dog. Breathe. Inhale, left leg back. It's hip height. Exhale, swing it all the way through. Left side runner's lunge. Lower the right knee to the mat. Untuck your toes. Sit all the way back on your right heel. Flexing in the left foot. Inhale, scoop arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look out flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Shh. 
Inhale, sit up. Push that left heel forward and start to straighten out the right leg, coming into a split. Breathe. Sending the breath to the back of the left thigh, the front of the right, where we're feeling it the most. Now tuck your right toes and bring that right knee back. Sit back on that right heel. Breathe. You're doing great. <laughs> Hand spray in the left foot. Tuck your right toes. Swing that left leg up. You're in a three-legged downward dog. Lower that left foot to meet the right. We're here for five. You are fierce. You are strong. On three, we're jumping into yogi squat. One, two, three. Yogi squat. Use your elbows to open up those thighs. Maybe rock from side to side. Try to straighten up the back as much as possible. Bring your tush to the mat. Extend both legs straight out. Inhale both arms out. And with control, lower everything to the mat. Breathe. Once your torso is on the mat, lift your legs up for legs up the wall. We're here for 60 seconds. Finding stillness or wiggling your toes, maybe rounding out your ankles, whatever you want to do here. Breathe. Let's inhale this right knee into our right armpit. Extend the left leg to the floor. Pull on that right shin. Try to jam your right knee into your own right armpit. You can't break it, pull. Scoop that right knee over to the left side of the mat. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lower to the right. Gaze is to the right. Knee is still on over to the left. Breathe. Come, in, come onto your back, hug both knees into the belly, rock from side to side. Breathe. Release the right leg to the mat, try to jam your left knee into your left armpit, pull. Scoop that left knee over to the right, stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lower to the left. Gaze is to the left. Left knee is to the right. Breathe. Rolling onto your back, hugging both knees into the belly, rocking from side to side. Allow the legs to flop out to the side. Hands to flop out to the side. Position your head so your spine is flat on the mat. You are relaxed. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Make a pucker face, frown, push your lips up off the ground. Lift your head off the ground, lift your feet, lift your arms. Make fists with your hands, squeeze, 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 and release. Shh. You are relaxed. Start to rub your fingertips together, wiggle your toes, bringing the awareness back into your body. Bring your legs together, point your toes away from you, reach your arms up overhead. Stretch, hugging the knees into the belly, rocking from side to side. Rock on over to any side you prefer, using the arm closest to the floor as a pillow. Recognizing that this fetal posture signifies new beginning. Use whichever hand is in front to push up into a comfortable seated position. Mm -hmm. 
inhale both arms up hands come into prayer overhead drag those prayer hands to your third eye we have two eyes to look one to see press your thumbs into your forehead asking for discernment and awareness continue to drag those prayer hands to your throat pressing your thumbs into your throat speak the truth know the truth be the truth Continue to drag those prayer hands to your heart, pressing your thumbs into your chest. We'll end today's practice with a long OM, three shanties, which means peace, and a short OM. Feel free to chant with me. If not, still press your thumbs into your chest. You will benefit from its vibration. Big deep inhale together. Om Shanti 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 Om Keeping your eyes closed, your head bowed. I thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this time to feed your mind, your body, and your soul. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Thank you for trusting the process and most importantly, trusting yourself. The light in me recognizes the light in you, its truth, its strength, and its beauty. Namaste. feeling okay good see you next time chair yoga next monday